This video is brought to you by Sony. Learn what happens when artists meet engineers. What's up everybody, it's me, Greg Miller, alongside image creator, big time comic dude, Joshua <laughs> Williamson. How you doing? Good man, Thanks so are you? much for coming. I'm, Thanks, I'm, dude. I'm really excellent. happy to be here. Uh, you make the, the comic Ghosted. Yes. That's what you're best known for right now. Yes. Tell me yes. all about the Ghosted. Uh, all these people about the okay, Ghosted. So Clearly ghosted. I like it enough to reach out and bring you here. Yeah, thanks again for having me. Uh, so Ghosted is Ocean's Eleven in a haunted house instead of a casino. It's about a man named Jackson Winters who is one of the greatest like heist planner criminals in the world. But on his last gig, uh, he really messed up yeah. and has been in prison for the last 10 years. Um, this rich old like supernatural collector breaks him out of prison and tells him, like, I will like, take care of you, I'll pay you, I'll make sure your life is better. All you have to do is break into this haunted house and steal a ghost. And so Jackson goes and he puts together the best paranormal experts in the world to help him do that. That's interesting. Thank you. That, that was my first impression <laughs> upon reading it. And then also when I got into it, right, what I wasn't expecting was the fact that it, it doesn't end where I thought it would end. You know what, what I mean? What did you think it was going to end? I thought it was going to end when they get the ghost and it's all over and they uh, move on out. It it ghosted yeah. keeps on going, right? How yeah, because the thing about what Jackson is is that, I mean, you know at the beginning when it opens, like he's this guy who's just ready for death already. Like yeah. He's sort of, he's settled into this idea that he's just going to die in prison and he's actually okay with that. Yeah. He's just so sick of life, he's given up. And... As the series going on, you have that ending where he has a moment of calm again. Like, he's kind of got away with it, he has everything. And then you see at the end of issue five, it pulls him back in. Yeah. And that's the thing with him, is that Jackson's this guy that, for whatever reason, and there is a reason we'll get to, but these bad things just keep happening to him. And every time he settles in, in any way or form, uh, not even being happy, just sort of, like, accepting of yeah, where yeah. he's at, things get worse. Like, they always drag him back. Right. And so, um, yeah, the end of issue five, that you find out that he... The original casino that he like, screwed up when he was trying to steal from. Spoilers. He, now they know he's alive. Yeah. And they're like, you're coming with us, and we're going to, they offer him another gig. They're like, we understand that you can do these things. We want you to help us with something. Right. And that's where issue six sort of starts off, with them giving him another job to go do. So then. It's about ghosts. I would yeah. hope so. Oh, that's yeah. kind of in your titles. I think that's what yeah, we're locked into. Yeah, We try to keep on the ghost thing. So when you come up with a comic book idea, mm -hmm. and you're set off on it, are you thinking of the end game? Like, what, is there in your head is already an idea of where this Ghosted series ends? Yeah, uh, I totally know exactly what the last issue is about. I, I know the end of Jackson's story. I mean, with him again, like he's this, he's you know he's kind of a bad person. Like, yeah. you read the book. He's, he's in prison. Sort of, That's where yeah, bad people a, go. He's a jerk, and it's sort of about his arc of going to where he's a guy who's just given up on life to then coming back around to um, having you know a reason to live again. Uh, so with him, I've always had this idea of what his arc was going to be. I mean, this, the idea started off with real. I, I knew I wanted to do a book in a haunted house. Yeah. Um, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do, and then eventually I was like, oh, people are breaking into a haunted house. They kept, like, you know, when I, how ideas work, yeah, yeah. they kept building. And then once I started working with Jackson and like, kind of created him and started uh, developing his story, it did take on a new shape. Um, you know, I have an end game in mind for him, and it's funny, I talked to you about this. But there's actually a clue to what the overall big grand scheme of the whole story is in issue one, but no one ever notices it, and no one ever like asks me about it. <laughs> like literally, I'm like, God, it's right there. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. But no one is ever like, Hey, there's this thing in issue one right here. Is that what I think it is? And it's like, Yes, it is. But no one ever asks. Gold star. It. You figured it out. So, Congratulations. Oh, I wish somebody would. But then what's going to happen is eventually, uh, like in issue eleven, there's a big clue of it. Issue so, oh, issue eight is a big clue. Issue eleven is a big clue. And then eventually we will be like, well, here's what it is. This is what happened. This is what's really happening. Right. And then when people can go back and read the whole series, see it all. When they, if they, if you have read it all and then go back and read it again, yeah. Once you see an issue one, you're like, oh man, I was right there the whole they time. They were beating us over the head with it. Yeah. So what issue are you ending on? Have you, is, that, is it that finite uh, for you, or not, can he yeah, can he have as many adventures? We've been going for a while, yeah, but yeah. I do have a, a plan in mind. I don't completely want to say, but sure, I of know course, of where course, it's going to end. But that's just something I always wonder. You know, being mm -hmm. a comic book reader, if you guys set off sometimes, and it's just like, as long as we can, whatever. Or if you're like, I'm an artist, and this is the story, and this yeah, is where I it goes. Yeah, I keep pushing it back sometimes. Like I have an idea, and then I'll be like, and then I'll have a new idea for Jackson to go on some other thing. Yeah. You know, like. Uh, there's a, the next arc. So this one right now is sort of like Taken, but with ghosts. <laughs> the, the arc after that, the arc after that is sort of about they find out there's this guy in New Orleans who can, um, when you die, you can make a deal with him. So he guarantees that you haunt the person you want to haunt. Oh, nice. Okay. And so Jackson is trying to go and stop that from happening, investigating it. Um, and so I was like, okay, well, that's that arc. 
but I keep coming up with new ideas for Jack to do things like that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, I'll just do that with ghosts. <laughs> and then I'm like, I'll push back that story a little yeah, bit more yeah, yeah. and more and more. But there is a part of me that wants to get to it because I'm so happy with the ending. I'm so happy with what, you know, uh, I have planned. There's right. a part of me that's like, I really want to make sure I can tell that ending. Yeah. So if there's even a moment of like, hey, we might have to end this, or I feel like I'm dragging it out, yeah. I will put a stop to it in a melee, because telling that ending is more important than having more issues. Sure. You know? So now, Ghost is still going on. Mm -hmm. uh, IGN just hired a new comic setter. He said it was his favorite book of 2013. So oh, that's awesome. a gold star for him man. for you. But then, you're here in San Francisco right now mm -hmm. for Image Expo. You just announced a brand new book. Yeah, I announced a book called Nailbiter. Uh -huh. uh, one of the things I talked about during the expo uh, that I'll tell you now, years ago when I was an art director, there was this woman that we were with, a very nice woman. She came in one day, she was upset, she broke up with her boyfriend. So I asked, like, what's the problem? Why did you break up? What's, I thought you guys were doing well. Yeah. She's like, oh, well, we just found out that her uncle is a serial killer. He just got arrested. His uncle, serial killer, right? Yeah, okay. Horrible thing. But I'm like, but your boyfriend wasn't a serial killer. Yeah. She's like, but I just can't be with somebody who's that close to, to evil. Really? You know, like the idea of that, and I started thinking a lot about how, you know, we talk a lot about the, you know, the victims' families, but we never talk about the families of the killers. You know, kind of what happens to them. And right. Could you imagine you found out that like your uncle was a serial killer, or your brother, or you know, any member of your family, your neighbor, your friend, it would be a traumatic event for you because you would think, what could I have done different? Could I, like, did I see it? Was there signs there yeah, that this yeah. person was At a Thanksgiving, he really liked carving the turkey. Exactly. Yeah. That, that would, that's a pretty legit thing. You would think <laughs> back those times yeah. and you're like, man, he was cutting that steak a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, he really liked those bloody steaks. Was, yeah, yeah. And they go, oh my God, did I eat somebody at one point? Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, I had watched this uh, documentary. I don't think, it, yeah, it was about Jeffrey Dahmer where this woman um, would make, it was one of Jeffrey Dahmer's neighbors and she would make him uh, sandwiches all the time. And he would come over and she said there were times, it's, it's, there's this documentary, it's horrible, but she's talking about how she realized after, like, way later, she was like, oh, like, I ate a person. Because she'd realize she would eat with him sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Like, he would cook it. She's like, there's a good chance that but, I might have, mm, right? Yeah. So think about that. Like, That's that bad. would mess with you. And yeah. so I, I kept going around that. So with Nailbiter, I, I created a character. I created a serial killer, uh, Edward Charles Warren. So he's the, the serial killer, the Nailbiter. What he does is he kidnaps people um, who chew their nails. Because oh. he's a nail biter. Yeah, yeah. But he's not allowed to. His mommy said no. Yeah, yeah. And so he goes out and he finds people who are, that's his MO. Like he only goes and goes to chew their nails. Sure. He kidnaps them, takes them back to his place, chews their nails for him, like for them. Ugh. While they're alive still? Yeah. Jeez. And then when they're full, when he's full, he kills them. And he did this for a long time and killed a lot of people. Uh, when he gets arrested, they find out that he's from this small town in Oregon. It's called Buckaroo, Oregon. Uh -huh. And they start piecing together like, wow, there's 16 serial killers over the last 30 years. We're all from that town. They were a born and raised there. That's really weird. There has to be a connection. And it became a thing, you know? Yeah. Like, it's one of those things I was telling somebody. Could you imagine if you knew that was a real thing? There's this town where 16 serial killers were all born and raised there. If you were in college, and you're just like in the dorms hanging out, and they were like, "Well, here's your new roommate." Like, "Oh, cool. Who's where are you from?" Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm in Buckaroo, Oregon. You'd be like, "What?" No, get out. Yeah, it freak <laughs> you out. Like that person's completely innocent, but you're thinking you could also be a serial killer. That's right. A thing. Yeah, yeah. And I started, you know, like that world just kept building. Yeah. And so the story is about uh, an FBI agent named Cole, who goes there to figure it out. He's the one who arrested uh, the nail biter. Yeah. And he's like, "I need to. F I'm obsessed. I need to find out what the thing is." And while he's there, he figures it out. He's like, there is a connection. There is a thing that made them all do this. The water. No, Spoilers. Read. Done. Just Don't read. even need to read just it. Read. That's actually one of the, the story arcs is called, Is There Something in the Water? Um, <laughs> but I'm like, serious. <laughs> Trust me, everything you can think of, we've thought of, yeah. is going to be all kinds of stuff. It'll be interesting That's to awesome. see what people think. Um, but he figures out what it is, and then he goes missing. Mm. And uh, his best friend comes to town to find him. His best friend doesn't even really care. His best friend is this guy named Nicholas Finch, and Finch doesn't even care about the serial killer thing. Yeah, just He's wants just to get like, his friend. I want to find my friend. Yeah. And he starts realizing that to find his friend, he needs to solve the What a fucked about. up dude, man. All your stories. Dude, are this just... one was pretty <laughs> rough, man. Yeah. It's been crazy because like, the amount of stuff I do on serial killers was. The FBI is so flagging all of your Google searches. Oh, man. That's, when people joke around that on, on Twitter, I just laugh at them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, like. Because I always think about that scene in Seven where he goes to the library and he has that list of all the books. Yeah. Right? I'm like, there's a list for me. There has to be. Because I've checked <laughs> out some stuff. I've read, I read and watched a lot of different things. Um, it, it's, it's terrifying at times how much like horrible things are out there. 
uh, I have a encyclopedia of serial killers and just read that thing from you know cover to cover. And at the end of it, you're just exhausted with the terror and the horror of it. But yeah. with that, this book, you know, um, it's better because of it. Be- because yeah. of the things you put yourself through. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be weird. This book's a, a mystery. Like it's so it's gonna be a little bit of a slow burn, I think, at times. Yeah. The thing I've been comparing a lot to is if you're a fan of Twin Peaks. Yeah. Like I feel like Twin Peaks is a very similar in, in tone to how this okay. book's going to be. It's really a small town. You know, I, I always think about how Laura Palmer. So when Laura Palmer died in Twin Peaks, her death had this like ripple effect on the town. You just you know. It, Affect all these lives, and you realize all these weird pieces are connected, and unearth all these secrets. It's like it's like that, but instead of it being the victim, it's the killer. Mm. You can just imagine a small town like that, sixteen serial killers over thirty years. That means almost everyone there went to high school with a serial killer. Right, right. You know, you all are related to or know in some way, and it creates a really weird dynamic in the town where also people are looking at each other like, whoa. Are you a Yeah, are you killer? next? Are, are you, you one next? of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or am I going to be a killer? Is, like, is it a curse? Yeah. Is it some kind of supernatural thing? And if you're that one weird kid in high school, everyone is immediately like, you're going to be a killer. Right. It's a whole different dynamic for a town like that. Huh. Um, so there's a lot of pieces going on in this book. Yeah. All through the eyes of this one guy. Oh, wow. Um, and he's, a, you know, comes to town. He's actually, I don't know if I should say that. He chooses nails too. Well, he's in trouble. Well, not, in not. The, it's a thing that in the town, um, like, no one is allowed to chew their nails. Like, it's a thing where, like, if they see you, like, if they're like, oh, what are you doing? What are yeah, you doing? yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And so he's, he can't help himself. Wow. But uh, there's also some stuff with, like, with Warren, with the actual nail biter. Because the book's named after him, so he is in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how he's in it is something I don't want to reveal yet. All right. Um, so it'll be really interesting to see what people think of When, when does Nail Biter come out? In May. And I'm doing it with uh, Mike Henderson, who is a guy I did a digital comic with called Masks and Mobsters. Okay. Um, so him and I are moving over, and we're going to be doing Nail Biter. And it comes out in May. We're, like, crazy excited about it. Awesome. Well, Joshua, thank you so much hey, for telling man, us about your books. All right, there's a good handshake. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, for everything about Joshua, his books. Read Ghosted and buy Nail Biter in May. And everything about IGN Comics. Keep it on IGN Comics. You're already there. We like comic books a lot. <laughs>